All men should strive to learn before they die what they are running from and to and why. I didn't say that. Some guy did. But it's true. I was just wasting away until she came along and helped me open my eyes. It wasn't all my fault. We don't always know where we're heading until we get there. And even then, we're not really sure. We start moving in one direction, not knowing what's around the next corner. We hope we run straight in, into contentment. We don't always find pleasure. Sometimes we find pain. We don't always find treasure. Sometimes we find treachery. And we don't always make the right decisions, even when our hearts and brains finally agree with each other on what the right move is to make. But without the journey, there is no destination. No, that's not me. That's me. Yes, the schmuck behind the wheel texting his girlfriend while he drives. My name is Charlie Kane. Mid-twenties, with no job, no friends, no opportunities on the horizon, no self-worth, no real reason to get out of bed in the morning. This guy is kind of a jerk. I mean, yeah, I was texting and all, but look at him. He's still standing there holding up traffic to give me hell, all just to make himself feel better. It's kind of rude when you think about it. Crap, that's my dentist, isn't it? You're not looking at me, you're not looking at Charlie Kane. You're looking at my former self, Chuck. That's what my girlfriend Madison Reese called me. Chuck. I didn't care, I guess. As long as she wanted me, I'd answer to pretty much anything. Even Chuck, a loser with no goals. That's how she saw me, and I'm not sure she was far off. Maddie, I'm home. But it's not who I wanted to be. I was just kind of stuck. Stuck Chuck, that's who I was. Maddie. Shit, Chuck. You scared the crap out of me. What are you doing home? Sorry, but you didn't get my text? What are you doing, Maddie? No big deal. Just needed a couple bucks. Okay, you cannot just go through my stuff, Maddie, alright? You have your own money. You have a better job than I do. I need that money. Alright. I got you lunch and some milk. We're out of milk again. Where's my cigarettes? What are you doing home so early? I thought we could do lunch. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? What's it look like? I have no idea. That's why I asked. Do we have something going on? We? No. Are you going to get that raise? You should really tell those guys to piss off and get a better job. Okay, hey, I'm just happy I have a job. Where are you going? Out with the girls. I told you that like a million times. You can eat my whatever you've got for me. You can take my money, but I'm not even allowed to go with you? Okay, fine. I prefer eating alone anyway. 
You know what? We'd be bored. We're going shopping. I'm doing you a favor by not dragging you along. Oh, well thanks then. I owe you one. How can you not know where your purse is? I don't know. It gets moved around. For all I know, you put it somewhere. Why the hell would I put it somewhere? Rides here. Is it, what's his name? Is it that Steve guy? Whatever. Screw you. I don't even know a Steve. Oh, geez. I swear to God. Are you going to let me in? <laughs> Want. I don't know. Excuse me, ma'am. You can't just walk into somebody's house. Get the hell out of here. Hey, it's okay. She's my mother. You what? Are you taking care of yourself, Charles? Am I? You worried about me, Mom? You look like death warmed over. <laughs> you can say that. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'd like to say I've heard all about you, but... <coughs> Uh, I haven't. Chuck hasn't told me anything about you. I didn't know he had a mother. Everyone has a mother. Well, I know that. I just assumed you were out of the picture. She is. What are you doing here? How are you? Are you still writing books? <laughs> he doesn't even read. Could I sit down, Charles? Well, why are you here? You just walked into my house out of nowhere and... I'm sorry, Charles. I, I can't take anything back. I can't not say what I may or may not have said in your recollection of things that happened. My recollection of... Mom, I'm not holding a grudge. And I'm not having an argument with you. I'm just living my life. Without you in it. That's what you wanted, isn't it? No. No, of course not. You are my son. My first second-born child. You're my flesh and blood. I, I saw you take your first step. Of course I miss you. Your brother Paul misses you too. And Dad? What do you think? Yeah, he was always there for me too. I, I swear I don't understand this feud at all. You must have some good memories of me. Charles, aren't you going to introduce me to your... Yeah, your... Mom, this is my girlfriend Maddie, Madison Reese. She's a social worker for the county. I'm a case manager. Helping people is a full-time job. It never really seems to end. How rewarding it must be. Right. It never first ends. It's how we met. How long have you two been uh, dating? Not long. Eight months? Eleven months, twenty-one days. Maddie, do you like my son? Can I get you something to drink? She doesn't need anything to drink. Mom, what are you doing here? Charles, I'm dying. You're dying? What are you dying of? What do you think? Cancer. Maddie, get my mom something to drink. I think I'll take one too. You're... How long do you have until... What do you want from me? What are you doing here? I want you to drive me to Oregon. What the hell is in Oregon? Physician-assisted suicide isn't a crime there. I've made up my mind to take my own life, Charles. I have seen four doctors. They all say I've just got a few months to live. It's just a matter of time, but it's only going to get worse. I want to die with a little dignity. Chuck, you can't do this. 
It's insane. She's going there to kill herself. I haven't said I'd do it, Maddie. Wisconsin doesn't allow assisted suicide. It's against the law. It's against the law in most states where a gun was the closest. And that's where Paul is. He's still there waiting for a transplant. What are you doing while Paul is there? He's on dialysis. You know that. It's become very serious. He's in the hospital now. Charles, I don't want to outlive one of my own kids. If you don't do this, it's your last chance to make peace with me and with your brother. If you don't do this, you'll never forgive yourself. This is bullshit, Mom. You know that, right? I'll take you. You have no idea what this means to me, Charles. Thank you. Oh, don't worry, dear. I will take very good care of him for you. Have a wonderful time. I hope you go fast. There's one thing I didn't tell you, Charles. I asked someone else to join us. Dad? No, he's there with Paul and Sarah. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Why the hell did you bring Erin, Mom? What is she doing here? You always liked her. You loved her. And she started calling a few years back wanting to know where you were. Wanted to know what happened to you. At that time, you just didn't know. You just took off. We had no idea you were the prodigal son. And then she started calling again a couple months ago. I didn't know you had a girlfriend. She's your girlfriend, right? So, so she thought he's play a matchmaker? Uh, she wanted to see you. I saw the look on your face just now. I'd say I made the right decision, wouldn't you? Well, what does it matter? I have a different girlfriend now. Erin walked out on me. That seems to be the story of my life. She made her choice and I went on with my life. You could drop her off. No. I mean, it's too late now. Are you sure? Well, yeah. If she wants to... Why was she calling me? What did she say she wanted? Oh, Charles, I always thought she was the one for you. And I'm sure you've asked yourself, what if I had reached that airport just a minute sooner, like a million times in your head? Train. Train station, Mom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have a different girlfriend now. Do you love her? What do you think? Is that her place or yours? What difference does that make? I care about you, Charles. If nothing else, I want you to find your place in the world. This is not it. And that woman in there? 
horrible. She's not right for you. So I can't do anything right. I'm giving you that chance right now. Please, Jack. Seems like it's come down to this. somewhere for the night? It's gotta be getting tired. I could drive if you're getting tired, Charles. Oh, God, no. I'm, I'm fine. I'm wide awake. Let's just keep going. Well, if you change your mind, we could, you know, hit the hay. Uh, let's just, <coughs> let's just get to Minneapolis, all right? Yes, I have a really nice place we can stay in mind and then we can get an early start in the morning. Mom, why are you doing this? Killing yourself. It's against the law in most states for a reason. Charles, you were too young to remember when your grandmother passed away. She died of ovarian cancer. She suffered greatly. Went on for a long time and she slowly deteriorated, becoming just a shell of who she was. She was on so much morphine to kill the pain that after a while she didn't even recognize us. But do you know how she really died? It wasn't the cancer. She starved to death. She reached a point in hospice care where she couldn't swallow and they had to give her nourishment through an IV. But after a while that really didn't solve the problem. She couldn't drink, eat, speak or think for herself. 
And when she finally died, we were relieved. I hear people say, well, at least you had a chance to say goodbye to her, but who does that help? Not my mom. She suffered greatly. We allow our pets to die with dignity, but not the people we love. What kind of sick, selfish bastards are we? So now do you understand why I'm doing this? And if my mother had had a choice, she would have done exactly what I'm doing now. You, you have no idea what it means to me you're driving me there. You are setting me free. Jesus, I'm starving. Can we stop somewhere and get something to eat? Does anybody else have to pee? Your girlfriend seems really nice. All right, I know sarcasm when I hear it. She's pretty, though. Yes. I'm glad you're here, Erin. I'm glad to see you too, Charlie. This is so weird. I mean, how long has it been? I figured we'd end up married. I thought we would travel the world together, settle down, have a few kids. I had it all planned out. I had to leave. You know that. I know. Life doesn't slow down, does it? I'm glad you're here now, though. Me too. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> really? I saw okay, Katine. Thanks, Charlie. You always know the right things to say. Yes, he's quite the wordsmith, isn't he? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Actually, could you give us like five more minutes? <laughs> Very funny, Aaron. Chuck, get in the car. That's right, Chuck, get in the car. You heard the lady. If that's okay if I call you that. What is your deal? Okay, you had your chance and you blew it. He's mine now. I'm the one he comes home to at night, not you. I'm the one who takes care of him when he's sick, not you. You made your decision. Now you're just old news, Aaron. Is that right? Charlie, care to weigh into this conversation? No. His goddamn name is Chuck. God, you don't even know him, do you? Mom, let's go! Mom? Charles, get out of here. I don't, I don't want you to see me like this. Get out, please. All right, Mom. Charlie, what's wrong? My mom. She was throwing up in there. Bullshit. She doesn't look that sick to me. God damn it, buddy. Will you just shut up? My mother is dying. Do you have any concept of what that means? Your mother is dying? You mean the one who never played with you, you when you were a kid? The one who yelled at you all the time for stupid shit? The one who didn't even give a damn about you? That mother? <laughs> I've heard it all, Chuck. Now you suddenly care that she's in there puking her guts out? You should be celebrating. Jesus, man. I'm not like you. What is that supposed to mean? What the hell is that supposed to mean, Chuck? Don't forget who really loves you here. Let's go. Frank just lives a couple miles down the street. Who the hell is Frank, Mom? I thought we were staying in a motel tonight. I told you I had a nice place for us to stay. Frank's an old friend of mine. We worked together like five years back. It would be nice to see him and his wife one last time, you know. You can understand that, right? But Charles, um, this goes for all of you. Please, don't tell him I'm dying. I want this to be a nice visit. Does he even know we're coming? Yes. 
I thought I told you, Charles. He's a nice guy. You'll like him. He knows we're just staying the night. Judy, don't you? Of course I do. My you think I forget this beautiful young Oh, it's so good to I see you. I'm do. fine. It's so good to see all of you. Um, uh, come in, please. Uh, you remember Charles? Uh, no, I, I can't say I do. Oh, he's my number two son. And that's Madison Reese. And this beautiful young woman is Erin Haim. Well, nice to meet you. All of you. Where are you heading? Oregon. <laughs> That's quite a hike. Uh, you know, I'm not one to talk about someone behind his back, but I knew a guy, Kevin, something or other. He lived out in Oregon for a few years, actually. Ended up moving back. Something about the weather, he said it was too dreary or something. Anyway, you remember Kevin? Oh, the Kevin I know from Human Resources? Uh, yes, <laughs> that Kevin. Now, don't tell him I told you any of this, but he got busted for smoking pot. The weed, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah, I've heard of marijuana. <laughs> What a dumb jerk, right? Do you have a bathroom I could use? Oh, yes, dear. It's just down the hallway here. <laughs> the cops busted him. Smoking reefer. Yeah. Uh, is there some place I could set our bags down? Yeah, Chuck and I would like to lay down. Well, I don't see a ring. Is that a joke? Well, I have a very nice room that the girls could share. Uh, Charles, you don't mind sleeping on the couch, do you? Is she serious? Madison, well, I am so sorry if these combinations don't agree with you, but Frank didn't say anyone else would be joining them. So if you don't mind, I prefer you share a room with her. Judy, I'm not the someone else, okay? She's the interloper. I'm Chuck's girlfriend. We're practically engaged. But not quite married yet, are you? Never, Judy. Yeah, hey, uh, how about some food? I already got the grill going. How, how'd a burger sound? Starters, my dear, your ex-girlfriend, she's right outside that door. Yes, I noticed that. So what? She's here for moral support. She's here for my mom. She's here to get in your pants, my dear. Do you love her? What? Lady, how can you ask me that? My mother's dying out there. Is she? I'm going outside. We could, you know, if you wanted. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Been so stressed out lately. Need some kind of release. Um, I'm just really tired. I'm not entirely repulsive, am I? Eddie, no, I'm just really tired. My head feels like jello. Emotionally and physically drained. Yeah, I just want to get there, drop her off, and never look back. You think you can do that? brother is gonna die because he needs me. I'm his brother. Same blood type, right? Tissue match. Everybody needs me. Because nobody really wants me. I don't know what to do. He is your brother, Chuck. 
Even if he really sucked as one, he's the only one you got. I think you should do it. Not for your mom, screw her, but for your Paul and his wife and their kids. Your niece is a nephew. Okay, so, so you want to guilt me into this too then, Maddie? I don't want to do it. I don't want someone cutting into me and taking out something that's mine. I mean, I don't have a lot. But it's my kidney. I mean, you think life is fair? Look at him. He had everything. He had the, the beautiful wife, the scholarship, the free ride through college, my mom worshiping him. I had none of that. I was a failure then and now. But I have one thing he doesn't have. A future. Hey, Judy, it's so good to see you again. Oh, we're so happy to have you staying here with us. It's been way too long. We have so much to catch up on. I'd like that. And you know, you two are such special friends, I just feel like we could tell each other anything. You know, you're not looking so good. Are you sick or something? Frank! Oh, Margaret, please forgive him. I always do. What? I thought we were telling each other everything. Well, shall we eat? Yes, uh, no time like the present. Madison, I'm sorry, but we'd like to say grace before having dinner. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Thank you. God, please bless this bounty before us, and thank you for allowing us to break bread with friends. Please bless this food and drink. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's eat. Chuck, you need a burger? Yes, eat up. The Lord helps those who help themselves. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Uh, don't worry, the horse is next week. <laughs> I don't think you understand what that means. I beg your pardon? Well, that phrase, you're not using it right. The Bible is pretty clear on this subject, thank you very much. I don't think it's in the Bible. Frank, back me up here. It most certainly is from the Bible. Yeah, I think it's in Leviticus or something. Could you pass the ketchup, please? Actually, Matt is right. It's ancient Greek. It's from Aesop Fables, not from the Bible. It's all Greek to me. Am I right, Chuck? <laughs> Frank, you're not helping. Here, Margaret, please try the potato salad. You should really have some, Margaret. It's not bad. You don't believe that Mary was a virgin, do you? Oh, H-E double hockey sticks. What did you say? Well, I mean, the original word that they used for virgin actually means, like, a young woman of marrying age or something. Who needs something? Chip? You must have a certain amount of faith. I don't like to talk about people behind their backs, but Tony Baker in HR was telling me the other day that uh, he had this... Frank, we're talking about something important here. You're well read, aren't you? Uh, you've read the Bible? Yes. Well, you're among friends here. You can speak up. Well, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Well, I'm glad to hear it. And I also believe that there's a heaven. But, as much as I hate to admit this, Maddie says kind of makes sense. In the book of Matthews, it says that Jesus is the son of Joseph. It lists the whole lineage, right? Isaiah says that the Messiah is of the bloodline of David. Mary not being a virgin at the conception of Jesus makes Jesus a messiah, not the other way around. That we should all know where babies come from, for God's sakes. My mother's dying! Charles? Holy shit! Oh, God, Margaret! Well, I'm so sorry! I told you she looks sick. Uh, hey Frank, could you pass me the burgers? I'm really starving. <laughs> you really put that Judy in her place. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be rude. I guess I was, though. It's all right. Fruit is underrated. Never talk religion or politics, right? <laughs> Are we starting to bond? I hope not. You know, Maddie, I'm not trying to steal him back. Really? Let me ask you something then. You ever slept with Chuck? No. Have you? Is that a joke? We live together, what do you think? So? What? What does that mean? Nothing. I just I thought you guys were serious at some point, but I guess I was wrong. We were serious. So what? What are you doing here now? I suppose I wondered what things would have been like with him 
and I suppose I wonder if there's still something there. But clearly that ship has sailed and, and that's all right. I'm not sure if I believe you. <laughs> Why? He clearly has something serious for you. That's right. Do you ever picture yourself married to him? What? No. I mean, I'm so young I have plenty of time to figure all that shit out. Why do you? Yes. That's why I'm here. I love him. Well, it's not gonna happen, so you better get used to that idea. No, I couldn't sleep. Neither could I. Your girlfriend snores like a chainsaw. <laughs> when did you pick up smoking? The day you left me. I'm kidding. I took up drinking the day you left me. Charlie, don't be mad at me. I'm sorry. Life kind of, uh, Sucks right now. It doesn't have to. You're an amazing writer. Yeah, it actually does have to because I am a speck in a vast universe. It doesn't matter how talented you think I am, Aaron. I don't know anybody. That's what it takes to be someone when the odds are against you. It's not like I have writer's block. I have no reason to write. Nothing would come of it. Nobody would read it. My family. My mother. My mother who had no time for me when I was growing up because she was reading all the time. Time she wasn't spending with him. Won't read anything I write. Things like that bother me. I left that family for a reason. Now, there's only one reason they want me back, and... Then they'll want me gone again. Are you crying? No. I don't have it in me. I haven't cried since I was five. I haven't seen you cry. It's okay to. It's therapeutic. Thanks, Sarah, but I'm good. <laughs> you just couldn't help talking about religion, could you? <laughs> well, Judy was wrong. The Bible is misquoted all of the time. It irritates me. You can just imagine God looking down on us saying, Don't put words in my mouth that I didn't say. Oh, well, that's who it was. You do believe me, don't you? What? Well, yeah, I believe you. You were right. I looked it up. You had to look it up. You just couldn't believe me? Wasn't that the whole point? I'm so sorry, Charlie. About all of this. Yeah. Me too. I keep thinking about my fifth birthday. I got a baseball glove that year. I still have it. I brought it with me. Shh. Let's get you to bed. Yes, I am. What are you thinking? What are you thinking about right now? Now? What am I thinking now? Yes, right now. What are you thinking? <sighs> Is this really happening? Are you serious? <laughs> Hi. 
You don't know how long we've waited for this. <laughs> I know. Stop talking. <laughs> Waitress. Where's our food? I'm starving here. Maddie, they're called servers. And look, she's busy with someone else. I'm sure she'll be right over. Whatever. Have you seen my cigarettes? No. Check your purse. I am checking my purse. They're not in here. Every time I lose something, he thinks it's in my purse. Hey, you had them last night when you were having a nervous breakdown. I don't know where they are, okay? Oh, maybe your girlfriend threw them away. I don't have them. Hmm. Maybe not, but it's interesting that you respond to his girlfriend. But, hi, guess who I am. Okay, Maddie, leave her alone, will you? We're just friends. Thank God. It didn't seem that way last night. What are you talking about? Where is our waitress? <clears throat> you mean server? I threw them away. Why? They're not good for you. Oh, you mean they're not good for a kidney donor, right? Well, last time I checked, I wasn't planning on donating, donating any kidneys anytime soon, so you can pay me back. They were four bucks. Oh, looks like you're paying for breakfast, huh? That seems fair. Hey, can we get a refill over here? Or, I don't know, our food? I'll be right there, honey. Your food's coming up right now. Good, because I'm starving. By the way, Mom, I haven't said that I was donating my kidney. Paul's always let a charmed life. Let something come along for him. That's because he opens himself up to life. You, you've always closed the door on it. And what does that mean? Synchronicity, Charles. There's a lot of things going on everywhere around you. The, the, the universe is giving us clues. And if you say no to this, well, then that will never show itself. And you'll never know what you missed. Well, sometimes ignorance is bliss. My friend and I ran out of gas, and it was like two in the morning, and the first car to drive by was a police car. So he picked us up and he brought us to a gas station, but we didn't have our own gas can, so we had to borrow one from the gas station, but there's a $10 deposit. And I just had a $10 bill, and my friend just had a buck. So we ended up buying a dollar worth of gas, and I kind of got gas like all over the can. And uh, I slid it into the box though, because I didn't, I didn't want to get my car all smelling. What box? Well, the day before, I went to this little grocery store, like a small town dive place, and uh, the cashier asked me if I wanted a bag or a, a box. And I thought it was weird that she asked me if I wanted a box. So I got the box and the gas can fit right in. I mean like perfectly, like it couldn't slide around anywhere. So, I didn't get gas in my car because I said yes to the box. There, Charles. Thank you, Maddie, that's a wonderful story. A little long and all over the map, but a terrific example of what I'm talking about, synchronicity. Oh, yeah, I get it. You're saying I should pay for breakfast, right? You missed the point, gun. I'm getting this. I do know what you're saying. Things happen for a reason. Like you dying? Yes. On this road trip of yours? Yes! Keep your eyes open, Charles. The life is going by too quickly. Hmm. What? Are you wearing makeup? I know makeup when I see it. You're wearing makeup. Well, yes. I'd rather not look how I feel. It's not working. You look like crap. Okay, Maddie, leave her alone, will you? Oh. Thank you. Thank God, what took so long? Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's very busy today. 
The other gal called in sick, and I'm all alone. Okay. We didn't ask for your life story, thanks. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can I get you anything else right away? I don't know. Maybe some privacy. No, we are good. Thank you. And <laughs> ignore her. She's just um. Mean. <coughs> <coughs> I have to go to the bathroom. Go ahead and eat. Your toast is going to get cold. Oh, I'm not really hungry. Charles, you can have it. I'm not eating your toast, Mom. Suit yourself. Where are you going? Huh, wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, that's why I asked. I'm gonna go get some cigarettes. Mmm, dessert. Whatever. How's everything so far? Delicious. That's why I'm walking away. Okay. I am sorry about her. She's just, dumb, um, crazy. Believe me, I've seen them all. She's a piece of cake. <sighs> what? Do I have egg on my face or something? Something like that. You sure picked a real winner there, Charlie. She's alright. I mean, some days are better than others. She's really pretty, though. She is pretty. You've mentioned that. Good morning. I, I didn't mean to, uh... <laughs> well, I, I just think it's really nice. What is? You two. You know, when people are in love, you two obviously are. What? No. Us? <laughs> you think this guy loves me? It's pretty obvious. How so? The way he looks at you. So face lights up. His voice changes, he becomes more confident. You make him believe in himself. And I think you love him too, don't you? What? That was a long time ago. My face lights up? Oh, it's just really hot in here. You can fool him, but you can't fool an old man like me. I was married to the same woman for 28 years, and I looked at her the same way you're looking at him now. Huh? 28 years? She was the one. She was my one. Who's your one? You know, I should really be checking on Mommy. Who is your one, Charlie? Into the man. Okay. Thank you, by the way. Son, don't let your life get away from you. Because it won't last forever. My wife died three years ago. Lung cancer. And I miss her so much. So I can tell you, I never let a day go by where I, I don't love her more than anything. Anything in the whole world. Now you tell this beautiful young woman that you love her. You heard the man. Don't let your life get away. I'm a beautiful woman. Tell me that you love me. Aaron, you left me, remember? You got on that train and started a whole new life without me. Plane. Whatever. Of course I loved you then. Charlie, forget it. I was just messing with you. I'm not his girlfriend. I'm sorry? I'm gonna go check on your mom. Mrs. King? I'm okay, Aaron. Are you fixing your makeup? You look worse now than you did before you came into the restaurant. You should really let Maddie help you with that. No. I just got a little lightheaded, that's all. Let's go. How long have we been driving? Since this morning? Two hours. We'll be in Bismarck in four hours. We'll be in Billings in ten hours if we don't stop. This is bullshit, you know that, right? I don't want a cigarette. Not in here. Okay, do you want to keep stopping every two hours so I can smoke a cigarette or are you going to let me smoke? Maddie, my mom. You're a real bitch, Mrs. Kane, you know that? It's probably the one thing Aaron and I agree on. Go on. You didn't give a damn about Chuck, and now you need him? I told him he should have told you where to go back at our place. You have to come. You think I, you think I was going to leave him alone with her? Are you brain dead? Pull over! I want a cigarette!
You should probably go talk to her. I guess I should. Maddie. You, uh, you okay? Do you love her? What? Maddie, don't ask me that. You know I love... I love you. Just be honest with yourself, Chuck. Look me in the eyes and answer the goddamn question. Honestly. I always loved her. They're stupid. I know that. I can see that. I just... I, I can't do this anymore, Chuck. Not now. Not with this. With her. I just... I just want to go home. Okay. Maddie, did you ever love me? I did love you. For whatever reason, I loved you. You never showed it. You never showed it until someone else comes along and all of a sudden you love me. What? Why couldn't you love me like this before? Why would I show it? Look at you! You're a loser! Why would I show it? God, you know what? She can have you for all I care because you know what? I don't care! You're a total loser, Chuck! And you can't even write! Just... Take me to an airport, and you know what? You can buy the ticket too, and then I never want, and I never want to look at your stupid face again for as long as I live. I'm sorry. I'm. I didn't mean it. Don't. Don't what? Don't give Paul your kidney. Okay, it's bullshit. It's. It's all bullshit. Sorry. About the way that Maddie left. She'll come around. She'll take you back. Everything will go back to normal after all of this. You guys can get back together. Why wouldn't she take you back? Believe me, it's over. How can you be so sure? I, uh, I can't tell you that. You loved her? It's complicated. She loves you, Charlie. No one fights like that for someone, for no reason. She's just frustrated. This whole situation is just screwed up. We're stuck in a tin can for 16 hours like a bunch of sardines. I don't blame her for leaving. There's nothing you could have said to make her stay. There's one thing I could have said. I love you. I didn't get the chance to say it. She made up her mind to leave and uh, she's gone. And that's that. It's over. Now I have nothing waiting for me when I go back home and yet somehow I feel relieved. I don't want to look back. I don't ever want to go back there. I had to leave. I had to go to college. I wanted you to come with me, but you would not come. I, you had a scholarship. What was I supposed to do? Stop you? Come to school with me. Instead, you work in coffee shop after coffee shop, writing poems about the one that got away. And now you're letting Maddie get away the way you let me get away. No, I went after you, Aaron, remember? But you didn't actually want me to stop, did you? You, you, you gave my mom the message? Couldn't even tell me yourself. So, what can I say? I didn't get there in time. You were gone. I wanted you to come to school with me. I wasn't accepted. 
What? They didn't want me. They wanted you. I knew how badly you wanted to go, so I couldn't stand in your way. Why didn't you just tell me that? You felt like a loser? I was embarrassed. I screwed up the ACTs. Are you serious? <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I thought you dumped me because I was repulsive or something. I didn't dump you. You dumped me. <laughs> no, stupid. I was head over heels in love with you. You were? Yes. Why did you think I kissed you the way I did? You were a really good kisser. I was? <laughs> I thought I sucked or something when you dumped me. <laughs> Stupid, stupid man. <laughs> okay. Well, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. We have a uh, we have a really early start tomorrow and everything, and uh, I uh, I need to get my rest. You understand? Yeah. Me too. I'm exhausted. Hey you, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs, you know, do their thing. Good night Charlie. Good night Aaron. Try to get to Billings by four o'clock, all right, Charles? Stay the night there and get an early start in the morning. Yeah, I'll see what I can do, Mom. Yeah, I'm feeling a little better. I could drive if you want. You look horrible, Mom. I feel better, though. I feel like a weight has been lifted off me. Her name is Maddie, Mom. <laughs> That's right. She wasn't the one for you, Charles. You need someone who doesn't swear so much. All right, Mom. Someone a little more wholesome. Here we go. Aaron here. There it is. <laughs> well, I seem to remember you hating me, Mrs. Kane. You thought that Charlie deserved better and that I was a bad influence on him and that I was holding him back. What was I thinking, right? I mean, looking back now, of course, I wish he'd caught you at the airport. Train station. Airport, Charlie. Oh, that would explain a lot. I was never very good with directions. <laughs> Aaron, what could you possibly see in my son? He was always romantic. For my 18th birthday, he got me a dozen roses. Eleven real ones and one fake. I don't understand. Couldn't afford a dozen? <laughs> no. He told me he'd love me till the last one died. You remember that? Thanks for bringing up one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. I thought it was sweet. Tell me you still have it. <laughs> no. I totally tossed that thing after you dumped me. I, what was I supposed to do with it? I didn't dump you. Oh. So you're saying you just got lost on the way to the airport and didn't call me to see if I landed okay. No, it's not dumping me at all. <laughs> okay, okay. This is just this is just totally not fair at all. Okay, not you two. Oh, why not? I need a good laugh. I'm dying here, remember? <laughs> okay, I have a story. Oh, no, please, no. You don't even know what I'm going to say. Yes, I do. It's going to be one of, like, 12 stories that come up at every family gathering. The, my screw-up son stories. But they're good stories. I'd like to hear one. No, Aaron, please, do not encourage the woman. <laughs> Christmas, 19-something. He was five or six years old. Six. Paul made this giant card for me in kindergarten. Second grade. And old Charles here didn't make anything for his mom. So what did you do? It's it's stupid. Here's where you plug your ears. <laughs> he 
goes downstairs to the basement and grabs the first thing he could find to give to me. I was four, Mom. I think you were five. Can you imagine the look on my face when I opened this cardboard box and pulled out a Green Bay Packers <laughs> souvenir football helmet? <laughs> it wasn't even his, it was Paul's. <laughs> Didn't fit me either, I recall trying it on. <laughs> Very funny. I was like four years old and I wanted to give you something. Oh, can you imagine me wearing that thing? You want a romantic story? What did he get you? He bought me five presents. Five for each of my senses. One what? for each of my senses. Okay, what is this? Is this pick on Charlie Day or something? No, that's what's so awesome. Everyone I tell that story to is like, why did you let that guy get away? Who are these people you're telling my embarrassing moments to? He got me a Lana's Morissette CD for my hearing and really, really good cheesecake for my taste. Cheesecake factory. And perfume for my smell. Hey, did I smell? You smell great. Showered every day, you know. Yeah, I do. I fantasized about it nightly. Um, it was, it was Lacombe Tresor, the, the perfume. The woman at the counter said it smelled good. And what was touch? Sandpaper? A sweater. Yeah. It gets a little large on my size, Charlie. I did. What was that? A picture of me. Not your senior picture? Yes, my senior picture. I think you looked good in that powder blue jacket. You really are amazing, Charlie. You know that? I wish I did. I really do. Do you think your mom is calling? I don't know. Paul, I guess. Or dad. I don't care. Do you think you know why she's going to Oregon? Do you think you know about you? I don't know. I don't care. Why not? Why don't I care? Uh-huh. They, they think of me as the prodigal son. The truth is, they're the ones who left me behind. Lived it up without me, never looked back, until now when they need me. Now they are coming home to me. Charlie, there must be some point in your life where you can look back and say it. That was a good time. No, I don't. How much farther? Uh, we should be into Billings by about 3.30. Mom, you were right. It feel good to lie down. Hey. Let's stop. No. Look, we're almost out of gas. How much more gas will it take to pull over? There's the gas station up this way. So where are you headed? Aren't we supposed to ask you that? I'm just going into Billings to see my dad. He's not doing too well, if you must know. But seriously, I appreciate this. How long till we get into Billings? Why, are you in a hurry? Charlie? Life goes by too quickly and I don't want to have any regrets when this whole thing is over. I don't want to look in the mirror some someday and say, you could have done more. So where are you going? Portland. Oh, family there? You could say that. My brother's in the hospital. He needs a kidney. You couldn't spare one, could you? Don't blame Paul for my shortcomings. He, he always loved you. We're there. Where would you like to be dropped off? Let's 
stay here tonight and get an early start in the morning, right, Charles? All right, whatever you say, Mom. Look for a gas station. We're running on fumes. Stop here. Why? Alright, this one's on me. Mom, can you have ice cream? I don't think it'll kill me. <laughs> if it does, it'll save us the trip. Okay. Are you really going through with this? I think I'm doing the right thing. I'm certain of it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't judge you. It's a very personal decision. But either way you say it, it's a suicide. Was it suicide when God helped Jesus to die on the cross? Or was it mercy? Why me? Why did you bring me with? I thought it would be easy for him doing this with someone, someone he loves. How did you know I loved him? Oh, Aaron, I've always known, even then. I can't believe he let you go. You did give him the message, right? Of course. He said his car died on the way there. He ended up running like five blocks. But Aaron, don't you see? It wasn't meant to be then. Everything happens for a reason. I'm certain he'll do it give his kidney to his brother. And if he doesn't? Then may God have mercy on his soul. Hi. Here you go. It's the least I can do, right? Thanks, Charlie. Did you tell him your name was Charlie? I did. He didn't seem impressed. I'm gonna stretch my leg. I'll leave you two alone. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god, I'm really not a slob. No? That's too bad. You're awfully cute <laughs> with ice cream everywhere. Haha. <laughs> ha. You think you're just so cute, don't you? Well, yeah. What, are you just getting that now? You're going to do it. Right? What are we talking about? Your kidney. He's your brother. Okay, now you sound like Maddie. <laughs> that was low. She changed her mind halfway through, though. Told me to tell the old bag where to go. You gonna do that? I haven't made up my mind yet. It's not an easy decision. It's the easiest decision you could make. He's your brother. He's going to die if you don't do it. It's my decision. It's not yours, and it's not hers. Charlie, about earlier, you're right. I couldn't possibly understand. So what's the plan for tonight? Well, uh, the lady downstairs said Enzo Bistro is great. It's got a little bit of everything. I'm in. What about your mom? I, I don't know what she can or can't <laughs> eat. Oh, speak of the devil.
Oh, hey, we were just talking about grabbing some supper. That's all right. You kids go ahead. Aaron, dear, I would like just a couple minutes alone with my son. Oh, no problem. I was just going to head back to my room and freshen up and change my clothes. Okay. I'll come down and get you in just a little bit then. All right. I want to show you something. See this? Yes. What is it? This is what my grandfather wore just after he was born. What, this thing? He was premature, and I'm talking like in 1895. It's a miracle he survived. Wait, I don't understand which... Well, if he hadn't survived, my father never would have been born, or me, or you. This little outfit is proof that some things are meant to be. Nine out of ten kids his weight would have died for sure, but he didn't. <laughs> he was an ornery bastard, a tough old SOB. He loved me more than maybe anyone. He practically raised me after my dad died. That nearly killed him out living his only son. But he doted on me and I ate it up. I was his only grandchild. <laughs> That's another thing that pissed him off. Here he barely survived and his kids weren't pulling their weight to carry on the family name. Can I have you and Paul? Someday you'll have kids, Charles. Maybe with Erin. I really do like her. Oh, you approve? Paul already has kids, but they need their father. Just like how I needed my father. Just like how you needed yours. I'm so sorry, Charles. I let you down. I, I wish I could make it up. If only we had had more time, I would, I would do whatever you wanted me to do. But no matter how big of a bitch I was, you, you have to save your brother's life. You know that, right? He, he, he loves you, and. It, when I leave here tomorrow, when I leave you tomorrow, it may be for the last time, just please just think about it, that's all. Your brother loved you. His kids wish they knew you. They'd love you too. Goodbye, Charles. right about me. She saw right through me. She knew I loved you then and now. <laughs> yeah. Man, he knew it too. What? Why wouldn't she take you back? Why did she leave? Because I told her I always loved you. It was the wrong answer, She's gone. What is all of that? Here. Charles, I couldn't look you in the eye and say goodbye to you. It was too hard for me to do. Forgive me for this cowardly act. I was never as strong as you are. Please know I will be in a better place 
and I sincerely hope that you find your place. You are a good man, and I'm proud of you, my son. Goodbye. Love, mother. I, I, I'm going to go check the lobby. She might still be around. Love you too, Charlie. Well, is it time and a place appropriate for certain things? But everywhere I go and everything I do, I know you are one of the few. We're out of gas. I hope you brought a box to put the gas can in. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. You didn't drag me into anything. Mom did. And I'm glad she did. She's right. Everything does happen for a reason. I guess. It doesn't feel like it sometimes. I don't know why she couldn't say goodbye to you face to face. She was scared. She didn't want to have to put you through that. She let you go. She set you free. Aaron, she didn't give me the chance to say goodbye to her. She didn't give me the chance to forgive her. I have to believe that she thought she was doing the right thing. She could never understand my point of view. Moms. Can't live with them. That's it. Can't live with them. I just know I'll never be like her. Be a good dad? Why not? I've heard not all parents are horrible. I mean, some of them read to you, listen to you when you talk, play with you, teach you things. I've heard. Yeah. Why? You think I'd be a good dad? I suppose. You're a little rough around the edges. You'll do just fine. Hi. Hi. Just sign here. All right. All right. You're all set. He'll be out in just a moment. You can have a seat out here. Thank you. Aaron. Oh, hi, Sarah. Kids, go sit down over there. Just visiting Charles? No, actually, we're going to take him home today. Wow, only five days? That's yeah. wonderful. Paul's probably going to be here about another week. Wow, he'll should be glad to go home, huh? He is so grateful. I hope you know that. We all are. Charlie's a great man. He didn't even think twice. You are welcome to stay with us for a few days. No, that's okay. We need to head home. I understand. Oh, before I forget, here's a few of their mom's things, like toothbrush, makeup. She left this behind, so I figured she might need it. You could give it to her. No problem. Um, but could you just hold on to that for a few minutes? I want to go in and see Paul. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Kids, stay right here with this woman here. Don't move. Are you fixing your makeup? You look worse now than you did before you came into the restaurant. You're wearing makeup. Well, yes. I'd rather not look how I feel. It's not working.
miss me? Hey, sweetie. Hey. Hey, Uncle Charles. Hey, Uncle Charles. Hey. How are you feeling? You ready to go home? I hurt like hell. <laughs> But I'm, I'm moving around as much as I can. The doctors want me doing all the exercises and things. And you're going to need to change these bandages about five or six times a day, if you're up for that. Of course. <laughs> okay. Well, then I'm just going to go and grab my clothes and stuff and uh, get me out of here. Charlie, you did a really good thing. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Angela. You're welcome. Paul, you're kidding me if I hadn't been dying. You bitch! That makeup wasn't to make you look better, it was to make you look worse. You used me. Well, look at him, Aaron. He'd do anything you asked him to do. He loves you. He always did. I had to use you. The train station. I never had a chance to stop her from leaving, did I? You told me the wrong place on purpose. You let her get away. You wanted proof that I love Charles? All right, it's true. I did give you the wrong information. I didn't think she was good enough for you. I thought you deserved better. That's why I did it. But I can admit when I'm wrong. So you know that she is right for you. So I am hoping that we can put all of this behind us. You should be proud of yourself. You saved your brother's life for God's sake. The story about Grandma dying of cancer, was that true? Yes, some things you don't have to lie about. What about my, my great-grandfather being born premature? What do you think? And synchronicity, and things happening for a reason, and things being meant to be, and it was all bullshit. You made everything happen the way you wanted it to happen. They're one and the same. What I wanted to happen is what was meant to be. This was God's will. Your brother is going to live. You did the right thing, Charles. Charlie! My name is Charlie, Mom. That's who I am. I am not the same person you knew five, ten years ago. I am special. I am important. I have a lot to give. I have a place in this world. And you? You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> I made you, Charlie. Look at him, Aaron. He 
He's a better man, a better human being because of me. He gave up smoking, that horrible woman. He's able to cry for the first time in 20 years, and he found true love with you. I made all of that happen. You owe me a thank you, Charles. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually glad you're here now, Mom. Because this gives me the chance to say something I didn't get to when you went off to kill yourself. Goodbye. Where are you going? Are you going to just walk away from me? From us again? My son was dying. I had to do it. At what cost? You never gave him a chance, did you? And now the next time you're going to be seeing your son is when he's standing over your grave. You sacrificed one son for another. And you know what? You're the one missing out. I could drive. I don't think so, Charlie. Mm. Hey, uh, where are we going? I'm pretty sure all my stuff is out in the street by now. Moving into my apartment. That's all right with you. We could call it our place. I could live with that. <laughs> you know what this means, don't you? I do. Are you sure you can handle me? I'm a lot of woman. True. You're more than I deserve. No. Just the right amount. So, uh... That day at the airport, did you look back to see if I was behind you? <laughs> I looked back for a whole two hours and 35 minutes, stupid. Why did you think I was so mad at you? Well, I'm here now. It took you so long. I had said that without the journey, there is no destination. But I have discovered that it is closer to the truth to say that the journey was the destination. And my destination has just begun. Days are long and you are not with me. Days are long and you are not with me. I don't belong to others with you I'm free In the morning hours I sit away dreaming of your eyes to see hoping to catch a glimpse of them to see what they think of Hadn't shared the way we feel Our hearts will 